Hello everyone, welcome to Tulsi Raisin Story. Today we are here to learn beautiful raisin meal plates made in silicon molds. So this is a technique is called raisin casting and today we will be doing raisin casting in silicon molds to make beautiful meal plates. First of all we have to measure up a raisin and for that we are using a digital weighing scale with a glass tumb with a plastic tumbler and using art epoxy tulsi raisin 3 is to 1 the ratio for this raisin is 3 is to 1 that means 3 parts of raisin and 1 part of hardener will be added so for that we will be adding 825 ml of raisin and 275 ml of hardener this is the ratio for first layer for two silicon molds you can calculate your raisin as per the size and depth of your mold in our raisin calculator which is available at tulsiraisin.com you can check the feature raisin calculator you can add up your size and depth of your molds or the base and it will calculate you the exact amount of raisin required for your artwork it's free of course guys and i'm adding a link in the description below for you to click on that and you can easily measure your reason in that so for now we'll give the reason a very good mix so that it becomes clear we have to mix it for two to three minutes i'm using a big spatula to mix it up and you can see it's very clear now now it's time to separate it into our cups for adding reason colors and gold foil we are adding gold foil today and this is a bright gold foil available at tulsiraisin.com all the supplies here are used from tulsi raisin store and the links are available in the description below you can check them for the green color we are using green translucent dark green pigment and with that we'll be adding green pearl pigment and for the another color we are using bright gold foil why it is bright because there are two qualities available in gold foil one is bright and another one is thick one you can check them at tulsiraisin.com so separating our raisin in two cups and then adding colors and foil to give it a very good mix before pour There are many types of pigments available in raisin art but today we are using a translucent pigment as opaque pigment and with that a pearl pigment. The pearl pigment gives pearl like shine in your artwork. As you can see the color is still very translucent that's why we are adding more of colors with it to give it a opaque look. semi transparent look translucent pigments keep translucent effect but if you use them in a more quantity you can achieve a big a mini a semi transparent effect from that to make it more opaque we have to add more pigment to it before adding your stick again in your pigment you have to thoroughly clean it or wipe it with a tissue paper and then add it otherwise a wet resin stick added into a bottle may spoil your whole pigment bottle now adding gold foil in your resin and it gives you a very 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 nice effect because it's a bright foil it turns into flakes automatically when you mix them in resin and it gives you a bright effect there is another foil available which are foil flakes and you can use them too directly in the resin and you can use the sheets as well they are available in different colors gold silver copper raw gold and there are so many colors available you can check them at our website tulsiraisin.com
give it a good mix and now it's time to pour our raisin first of all we'll start with our green color and with the green color we have to start pouring bit from the center and one corner we we'll leave one corner for our golden color so raisin is a very versatile medium you can make anything with raisin there are so many type of shapes and sizes available in silicon molds for you to make them and try them out if you have any confusion and raisin art you can dm us comment and you can comment in the video to get a reply and for all the materials you can visit our website tulsiraisin.com so one tray is done so we have to pour our leftover raisin in the cup for our another piece and again we'll add some colors in the raisin the most important part to remember in raisin art is to mix your raisin and mix your colors thoroughly because a good mix is the best work you can do for raisin art if you are not mixing in a proper way you may face some issue so that's why I give it a good mix even if you are mixing at the starting the raisin and hardener or you are mixing the colors you have to measure them according to the weighing scale and then you have to mix them very nicely Tap your cup to remove all the resin and add it in your mold. Spread your resin throughout the mold so you get an even layer of resin. Now it's time to pop the bubbles from your mold and for that I'm using a blow torch. You can also use a isopropyl bubble alcohol or a bubble popping spray which is available at tulsiraisin.com. As this resin is already low viscosity resin, there is not actual need of popping the bubbles. You can leave it as it is but just for the concern you are just uh, popping the bubbles and now it's done our day one is done we'll leave it for 24 hours to get it to get completely dry and to do the next layer at the day two we'll be sticking our stickers it's the day two guys and this is a vinyl sticker customized from tulsiraisin.com you can get it from your name or if you want a simple name or any kind of customization is available with the vinyl stickers you have to appropriately like very nicely you have to remove it and apply it to your base because it's of bigger size you have to take a lot of care just find the right place and stick it nicely after sticking it you have to remove the tape from upper part Just slowly and nicely you have to stick it just press the vinyl side so that it gets sticked very nicely and then you have to remove the tape pull off the tape from all the sides and remove it
Now is the time for date sticker and small sticker. So we are placing it at the right hand side corner. I will just stick it and pull off the tape. It's an easy peel off stickers for a smaller size and for bigger size you have to take a little more care. And similarly, we'll tape both uh, other, another one, another nameplate in the same manner. We have to tape it. And now it's time to add the flowers. So this is a mixed flower sheet, mixed press flower sheet from tulsivision.com. You can check there are lot of range of flowers available. And for now we are taking the sheet because there are lots of colors and we can make our own style or we can make our own pattern and add up the flowers to make them in a certain pattern. So for both the nameplates we'll add some flowers, colorful flowers of white, pink, purple and red colors. You can create your own pattern and choose your own flowers. I'm using a tweezer to arrange the flowers because these are very delicate flowers so you have to be a little more careful. After making the arrangement, we can go for our place and pour. We'll do the same arrangement for our second tray, same as this one because this is for a couple. This is a name board going for their wedding. So I don't want the our flowers to pop up at the top when we add raisin. That's why we are using a adhesive to stick them. And this is a P6000 adhesive and we are using to stick them. I'm using a cutter to lift my flowers. As I said, because these are very delicate flowers. Once our arrangement is done and flower are sticked, it's time to measure our reason for the next bowl. Why the top coat is required? Because we are using, we have used flowers and vinyl at the top of our resin, and they may not 
they are not very much long lasting if you do not add the raisin so we are adding up another layer of raisin so that they become long lasting and does not uh, weather or any outer surrounding does not affect our flowers or our vinyl sticker so again i'm using our digital weighing scale and our tumbler to measure the raisin So for the top cut, I'm using a epoxy resin. But again, if you have already have an art epoxy resin of three to one, you can use that. The quantity for the resin would be same as our first layer because in the first layer we poured half of the mold, and the another half would be this time. So again, you have to mix the resin thoroughly, and then. when it becomes clear we have to pour it on our nail plates this is also called as flood coat we'll pour the resin throughout the nail plate on our vinyl sticker on our flowers and we'll have to complete this will give it the complete look and once it's get dry our name plates are completely ready you can pop the bubbles from using blow torch And it's time to demold our resin nail plates. You have to be very careful while demolding. Just loosen it, loosen it up from all the sides, and then pull it. Thank you guys for watching and being. here our name plates are ready if you do try out this technique let us know in the comment section and what topics you want to be covered in our channel let us know in the comment section do like and subscribe this channel for more such videos